gonna go buy my EDC tickets really quickly. I'm gonna get a couple passes. Wait. No, 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 no. It's sold out of everything. Camping too? What the f man? EDC 2020 is officially sold out. Hey guys, this video is gonna be a doozy. Let me just tell you. For those of you who are new to my channel, what's up, I'm Emma. I have a cold right now, I apologize for my voice. I'm still recovering from Imagine, guys. That festival put me in my grave. It was a good ass time. You guys can go back and watch the vlogs if you want to see how my experience was. But for those of you who have been here for a while, you guys know that EDC Las Vegas is probably like the biggest part of my YouTube channel. It's where I started and I think I have like over 50 videos in my EDC Las Vegas playlist at this time. With all that being said, you guys are messaging me like crazy about the 2020 ticket sales, about camping selling out. As we speak, camping went on sale today everything is sold out. It's like, this is the craziest shit ever. I can't make this up. So I'm gonna really quickly give my opinion on everything that happened, talk you guys off the ledge for those of you who are freaking out if you weren't able to grab tickets. And of course, I'm gonna be telling you guys about my plans. I really quickly, before we get started, just wanted to say that this week, we hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm over the moon, I am so proud, I'm so excited. Like my goal for this year was to grow my channel to 5,000 subscribers, so I'm just like, I'm gonna get emotional in this video, okay? I'm warning all of you, I'm a crier, so just expect this to happen. Anyway, I'm gonna be doing a full like thank you video and I have something very special planned. I'm gonna be doing a really big giveaway, so stay tuned for that video. I'm just like gathering everything right now. But I just wanted to say off the top here, thank you guys for supporting me, for watching my videos, for sharing them, for everything. I, you know, you guys know, I love you. Okay, so let's get into EDC. This was the fastest EDC Las Vegas has ever sold out. I felt horrible because people were messaging me asking like, oh, like when do they sell out? And I was like, oh, in the last couple of years, it was usually like the month of or a couple weeks before. Um, years prior when I had went, it sold out, I think within like a day or two, but that was like years ago. This is unreal. Am I surprised? No, because I think last Last year, it became the biggest EDM festival in the world. They also did camping for the second year and it was really, really successful. I think also the popularity of just EDM right now, um, people vlogging their experiences, people just talking about it on social media. Like, it's, it's the greatest festival in the world. You know, guys know how much I love it and clearly that spread very quickly. Word got around and I think it just was a hot commodity this year. I think a ton of people also jumped on the plan when the festival ended, they put tickets up for sale for like $10 down payment. I think a lot of people jumped on that and you know, it's the best. So I'm not surprised at all. Um, camping selling out is crazy. Again, they were really pushing the camping. Um, like it was heavily featured in their trailer. They did a whole separate trailer for Camp EDC. And I'll talk a little bit about it. It's just extremely convenient. Um, I had never camped. They only did it for two years, but to get to the raceway, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. So I think from year one to two, they really improved the camping experience. And that's why it became so popular with people. So for those of you camping, I think you know, you're gonna really, really love it and have a great experience there. For all of you guys out there who didn't have the money at the time or slept on the tickets and you weren't able to get some, Take a deep, everyone collectively take a deep breath. Okay, I feel better now too. It's, you know, September right now, right? The festival's not till May. So many tickets will go up for sale. People's groups fall apart. People have other plans come up. Like you will find a way to get tickets. Um, just make sure you do it safely and be smart about it because you know, I don't want any of you guys out there getting scammed for tickets. Make sure it's like, I think they might have an official resale. Definitely go on their website. Um, 
Follow them on social media, guys. Join the groups on Facebook and on Reddit. If you really want to get a ticket, then just really, you know, turn your notifications on and really be active on social media so you can sort of like see ticket resales happening. So don't panic. I'm sure you will still get tickets. I wouldn't worry too much about it. A lot can happen between now and then. For those of you who did get stuff, if you are going to do a hotel, book your hotels now. My group has always booked our hotels in September or October. We've always just found like there have been really great deals if you do it really early. Early. Um, and a lot of times if you use like booking.com or something you can um, reserve a room and you can do like a free cancellation up until like the week before or something so just go reserve a room and try and get a deal if you guys can but you know I love this festival more than anything I'm not surprised by any of this and uh, I hope you guys all have the absolute best time ever it's so so great um, I have my playlist link below so if you guys if this is your first time go check out my EDC Las Vegas playlist. I have videos on like literally everything. Um, I definitely will be doing more videos too, like as it leads up into the festival. And I'll keep you guys updated. You guys can always reach out to me if you have any questions, um, leave comments down here on the video. More than happy to help you guys out, okay? So now the second part of this video, which is a lot harder for me to talk about. Um, I didn't, I don't want anyone to think this is like so dramatic or anything, but because you guys are my audience and I'm always like very open and honest with you guys and my foundation of my channel was built on EDC Las Vegas I felt that it was necessary that I do a dedicated video on why I am not attending EDC Las Vegas 2020 it just like hurt my heart to just say that out loud wow I'm gonna get emotional in this video I've had so many of you commenting on my pictures, DMing me, leaving me comments here on YouTube, being like, I can't wait to trade with you at EDC, I can't wait to meet you, I hope you do meetups. And it's been like breaking my heart, so I've really been wanting to put this video out there so I can just like say for the record, I'm not going. I really, I really, really do not plan on going next year um, for several reasons. And again, I would like, as like you guys are my subscribers, you guys are my family, I would like to tell you why. And yeah, and that's how we're gonna end this video. <sighs> Okay, so I have been going to EDC Las Vegas for the last five years. It's my home. I love it more than anything. I have had the most incredible experiences and memories there. Oh, the tears are starting. Um, again, like I've built my YouTube channel on it and I'm so passionate about what I do in EDM and music festivals because of EDC Las Vegas. I got to attend last year with a VIP ticket because I won a contest and I got to speak to Pasquale himself through FaceTime and it was like life-changing. I was hysterically sobbing, it was a whole thing. <laughs> I went into this past year in the back of my head knowing I think I'm gonna take a break after this year. So it was also like an extra special year for me because I knew that in the back of my head and I hadn't really like told my Ray family yet and that was like a hard conversation to have too because I also didn't want to like let, let them down. This is our thing, like Brady Tower and I go every year together, it's like a guaranteed thing. So I had to tell them like, hey guys, just so you know, I don't think I'm gonna go, which I knew meant that they probably won't go either. I don't know for sure. So it was really hard to like throw a wrench in their plans as well. Cause like, that's our favorite thing to do is like all meet up together and go every year. So it was the best time ever this year. Seriously incredible. The meetup like blew my mind and I, it, I'm forever changed because of that. But I, okay, so for a couple things, EDC Las Vegas is a huge cost. Um, it's a lot of vacation days and it took a toll on my body. Like this past year was the sickest I have ever been after a festival. Um, it completely wiped me out. And I think because there's so much lead up to EDC and my heart and soul is so invested of it, when it ended, I just was like depressed as fuck because I knew I was gonna take a break. And you know, when you think about something every single day for almost a year and then it's over, you you can relate to like how upsetting that is. So it was really hard for me, but I kind of felt like I just needed to like rip the band-aid off and just like make that decision. So cost, vacation days. I also am dying to go to Electric Forest. I've expressed that a lot on my channel. Um, that is as well like a huge trip and a huge investment. And to me, I can't do both. I know a lot of people can, I can't. It's one or the other for me. And I am choosing to hopefully invest everything in electric forest and like go all out. I of course want to bring you guys new content. I, I kind of feel like I've exhausted EDC Las Vegas on my channel at this point. Of course there's always new things to talk about. I'll show you guys outfit ideas, like whatever you want me to do a video on, I can, but I do want to explore other areas and other festivals and do other things and have other trips. Um, so I hope you guys understand that. I'm not saying goodbye to EDC Las Vegas completely. 
probably will end up going in 2021 at this rate but I did have to take a break. I have to do it. Um, I want to do some other things next year and just have opportunities to go other places and meet new people and um, seeing the tickets sell out this fast and knowing it's like the 10 year anniversary of it being in Las Vegas, like, oh, it was like stab in the heart because I was like, oh, they're going to go all out and it's going to be incredible. But then I remembered, and for those of you who can't go, it's incredible every year. It gets bigger and better every year. I was also there for the 20th anniversary like of EDC Las Vegas. So there's always an anniversary. There's always a celebration. Every music festival is good and there will always be another one the next year. So there will be more opportunities to go. So for anyone else who can't go, I feel you. I'm with you, uh, it sucks. So anyway, that's kind of all my reasoning. Um, if you guys watch my vlog, I also went to Las Vegas this past summer in July. So I went to Vegas twice this year. Vegas is like my fucking favorite, I love it, but I'm a little vegas out right now. I need to take a Vegas break, <laughs> which is gonna kill me, because I love it. But um, I just want you guys to know, I'm sorry if I'm letting anyone down, like that absolutely breaks my freaking heart. I'm not gonna get into it. I'm sorry, I can't go with Tara and Brady. But we're gonna plan other things and it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna see them anyway. So it's not closing a chapter, you know, it's to be continued. We'll try and go back another year for sure and maybe like do things differently. Um, I did wanna just tell you guys, cause you've been there with me throughout my whole EDC Las Vegas journey and it's been crazy. And like the fact that I hit 10K on YouTube this week, it's just a collective ball of emotions for me. Watching people's videos and Snapchats and Instagrams during EDC week next year is probably gonna kill me and I'm gonna have so much FOMO but I'm gonna be so happy for all of you guys like going and experiencing it for the first time and hopefully I'll be doing other things that will be really fun so I think that's everything I didn't want this to be like a fucking novel my mind is really made up guys so I also like I don't want people like I'll pay for your ticket or what if this person offers you this like I, I kind of don't want to hear that I'm like personally I'm choosing to step back from this festival and that's okay thank you guys all like so much for your support over the years again like absolutely any questions you have any videos you want me to do on EDC I am more than happy to keep doing content around it of course so just you know feel free to reach out to me DM me leave me questions um you know just for any of you new guys going to EDC next year just remember that it's all about the plur mantra peace love unity and respect respect each other out there you guys Keep the peace, um, go in there with an open mind, and you know, don't worry if you didn't get your tickets. You guys will get your tickets, but just like let EDC be this transformational experience because it truly is home to me, like, I, it's home. I love it more than anything. That is everything I have to say on the matter, I think. I'm very sad, but I'm looking forward to other opportunities next year. I'm gonna try and come up with some like really good fun content for you guys. I'm investing my heart into Rave Culture Podcast, my podcast as well. I'm loving doing that. The response has been great. Like, I'm so happy that you guys like it as well. So anyway, here's to looking forward to 2020. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for hearing me out. Congrats to all of you guys going to EDC next year. You're gonna have the best fucking time ever. And I'll just see you guys in my next video.